approximately 10 30 in the morning friday january the 28th 2022 and i'm back in fernandina where i normally crash when i'm up in the north end of of florida this is a family member's home right here so they allow me to plug in and uh and stay here whenever i need to dashel is enjoying his his little kennel this is what i call the catio he's got his own little pet door he goes in and out right there i know buddy. i'm actually leaving and heading up to wesley chapel zephyr hill area for my first festival of the year that starts tomorrow so yeah i took the camper all the way down here and then made a pack from the camper and taking that to another city further south at any rate, since we're now in the sunshine state, I think it's time to switch from the nice warm knitted hat back to the cooler headband. It's 3.30 in the afternoon now at the Econa Lodge, about to check into my room. So how does this work? Oh, just like that, okay. There she is. Get a, get a load of this view of the parking lots, the freeway and McDonald's. It's nice, but it's not important. I don't care much about the view. The hotel room is comfortable, it's clean. It uh, seems professionally maintained, but uh, realistically, I don't see why it costs $95 a night to stay here. I've stayed at budget inns that were pretty close to about this nice uh, for as little as thirty-five dollars a night, at the most fifty-five. But ninety-five? Why? Either either it's because the price of hotel stays have just shot way up without me realizing it because I've been staying in the camp for so long, or it's just because we're in the middle of a major Florida city in the middle of snowbird season, which is probably the case. But at any rate, we're here now. I'm going to take advantage of some cable. I haven't been able to watch Cartoon Network in a long time. So, yeah, we'll be doing that tonight. It's like another episode of Gravity Falls coming on. We're going with the classic junk Chinese food. We found every piece of the door. So 4.30 in the morning on Saturday now, the next day. And uh, I tried, tried to get as much sleep as I could. Checking out the hotel room now. Oops. Even after doing this job for about 14 years, I still have a hard time sleeping the day before I do a festival for the very first time. Supposed to be out here at 5.30, it is 521. My booth space is 50. See it right there. And uh got three hours to get set up in. This whole thing looks like it just kind of appears pretty fast. A lot of people haven't got here yet. Alright, let's go get checked in. 550, all my stuff is unloaded. Just look at my truck right over there. It's starting to appear. I'm starting to see the pop-ups popping up. This person had the right idea. Just put your camper right on the side there. Wait until morning, set up. 625 and the booth is set up uh, without the pool noodles or the lights or even the sides. Not a full setup because today's festival is only from 8.30 to 5. One day festival. Um, but that makes it two hours before opening time, so yeah. I get a little anal with festivals that I've never worked before getting out here. Even before they had blocked the roads off, I was out here. Set up two hours early. They're starting to get set up down this road. It's 8.50. No, 7, 7.50 now. Coming out of Olga's. It's a local favorite. Yeah. Oh, no raisin cookie? Coffee. Get myself a little breakfast. Everything is kind of coming to life. You can see there. There's another characterist here. Just 
oatmeal raisin cookie. The breakfast of champions, right? Not much oatmeal at all. Okay, second thing I got was a yeast breadstick with a kumquat frosting on it. Okay, well, now I'm working at the Kumquat Festival and I've had something Kumquat. It's very good. Yeah, he'll pose, he'll pose. Where are you from? Um. Not good. It is 12.30 now. We've only got four and a half hours left and I still haven't even broke even. Um, so. And it's windy. It's killer windy. It really feels like this tent's about to roll a bunch of times. I've been like grabbing it. My uh, examples have been ripped right off the the aluminum plates and just flapped around. <sighs> I keep resecuring everything. Wind is crazy, but uh, it seems like most of the traffic is over there in the middle. But. Hey, I'm here for the first time, so they're gonna put the first, the first year vendors on the outside. It's just what's to be expected. 20 minutes after six now. Started breaking down at five. That's where I was. Spot 50. Yeah, if I do this one again, I might ask to be uh, in the middle here instead of being out here on the outside. If I do this one again. Um, you can probably tell by my deflated tone that did not go well. It was not worth all the driving and the expense. Uh, I don't even know if I'm in the black. If I am, it's not by much. But, at any rate, uh, that was the first festival of the year. Next weekend begins, this time a 10-day fair. So, looking forward to that. Guys, thumbs up, subscribe, talk to you down in the comments, and as always, look forward to seeing you in the next one. I know, Dashiell, I know. I missed you too. I know, buddy, I know.